submitting an assignment to Turnitin. First, you need to navigate to the assignment you want to complete. The assignment may be located variously depending on your instructor's organization scheme. In this case, it's in a content folder. Then, in a learning module. What you want to look for is the View Complete link. Now, select the View Complete link. On this page, you'll see the start, due, and post dates. These refer to the earliest you can submit your paper, the latest you should submit your paper, and when you're able to view feedback from your instructor. There are also status and action columns. The actions show details and expand this assignment do the same thing. Select either one and you can see the title, instructions, to what databases the paper will be compared against, and the late submission setting. Information may show that late submissions are allowed, but check your course syllabus or assignment instructions for the specifics of what that means. The allow late submissions line may show yes, but it may only apply to students who have sought permission due to special circumstances to turn in the paper late. Let's go ahead and select submit to turn in a paper you've already prepared. Your name should be pre-filled. You will need to enter a submission title. From an instructor's point of view, you should choose something meaningful. The assignments will already be collected in a folder, like research paper, so you might enter a meaningful submission title like Little House, 70's Politics Through a Turn of the Century's Lens, rather than just Research Paper. Now a great benefit of Turnitin is that you have choices when it comes to file formats, so you can use one of many different programs. Make note of the file upload requirements to make sure your file meets those requirements. In order to submit work from programs like Microsoft Excel, you will first need to export your worksheets as a PDF and then join them into a single PDF file to submit. Your instructor may provide additional resources on how to do this for such file types not listed in the allowed file types. When you're sure your file meets the requirements, select Choose File. Navigate to select your paper for upload. Then, choose Open, or the equivalent in your browser operating system. With your file chosen, select the Upload button at the bottom of the page. A preview window will come up next. Don't worry that all the formatting has been stripped. It just shows plain text here in the preview. This will be what's getting checked by the originality checker. Select the Submit button to finish the process. You will immediately receive an email that serves as your digital receipt that you submitted a paper and at what time. You definitely want to keep this email as proof that you turned in your paper on time in case there's ever a technology failure and it doesn't make it to your instructor. The system will deliver the confirmation message to the email address you have entered in the personal information in Blackboard. The default is your TWU email address if you haven't changed it. So check your email. If you don't receive a receipt, try again or seek help. Don't assume it worked and then miss a deadline. If you select Go to Portfolio, you'll be able to see the originality report if your instructor has enabled it. You may want to review the report. If some of your paraphrasing is in question, you may want to seek help from the right site. In this case, a 61% index is pretty high. Learn how to write so that your similarity index is very low. If it is before the due date, you can usually select Resubmit to turn in a revised version of your paper, which will hopefully push down that similarity index. For more information, review the tutorial on how to read your originality report.